Hello, in this video I'm going to show the home screen tricks on Nubia Neo 3 5G. Okay, to launch the menu for customization, we need to simply hold on an empty space on our home screen, just like that. Now, in here we can quickly change the wallpaper, add some widgets, select the transition effect and also open up the home screen settings. Let's begin with the widgets, they are really useful, I always create some. Uh, in here we have a widgets, uh, system widgets, right in here, uh, and down below we can also add some Android widgets. Pretty cool thing. Okay, uh, so for example, let's try to add a new widget, for example, the battery. If you click on that, you can see that you have some different styles uh, of that widgets. So let's try to add this one, simply hold on it, and now place it anywhere that you want on the screen. Release. And now it has been successfully added. Okay, uh, now let's try the effects. Mm, currently, of course, the normal uh, version is set, but we have modes such as cross lip, wave, cube out, cube in, and glass. Uh, if you uh, select each mode, you can see a preview how it's going to uh, look like, mm, how the trans uh, how the translation uh, effect. Uh, will look like when we will be sliding left or right. So simply mm, select the mode that you want. For example, let's try the cube. Okay, and now when I'm sliding left or right, you can see that we have this cube animation. Pretty cool thing. Let's hold once again. Uh, now, home screen settings. We have the home screen mode. We can select the drawer mode, standard mode or the simple mode. It's up to you which mode you like most you can see under each mode uh, the differences between them i'll stick to the drawer you can also change the icon layout four on six or five on six you can enable the function to add up icons to home screen for new apps so for example if you are downloading something from the play store uh, this app will be automatically added into your home screen you don't need to drag it uh, out of the app drawer for example it will simply automatically appear on your home screen. We can also lock home screen layout. It prevents changes to the desktop. So now when this function is enabled, it's impossible to change the position of any app on the home screen. You can see when I'm trying to move the game space, home screen is locked and it's impossible to uh, move the app. Let's open up the settings once again. We also have the up autofill, autofill empty spaces when apps are removed, really useful thing. So for example, let's say that right now I will uh, remove uh, some of those apps, for example, the Google Meet. Mm, of course, it's uh, impossible because it's like the system app. We can only delete a BART from the home screen. Uh, and when I'll do it, actually I'll show you. Uh, and why it didn't work. Oh, it said it will. Empty the full space. So let's try maybe in here. Oh, okay, now it worked. Mm, you can see that the Play Store jumped into the space of the previous app and that gap has been successfully fulfilled. Also, pretty cool thing. Now, back into home screen settings. We can also loop the screens, go fast, uh, go from last screens to the first screen just by swiping. Pretty cool thing. If you want, you can enable that. And down below, we have home screen badge app icon. You can uh, select show badge as number or full stop. And here you can enable or disable those apps for the app badge. Badge, badge app, I'm sorry. Uh, and now display Google app to the first idle screen. If you want, you can change it or leave it just like it is right now uh, above we can see um, which screen is currently the main one uh, if the home icon is white it means that this screen is our main one we can of course change it if you select it on the second you can see that now it disappeared and currently this screen is our main one but i'll stick to that one uh, also we can align um, apps with the top or align them with the button. All 
All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.